Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC and you're in the right place for backpack nerdery. I'm a huge backpack geek and just love my backpacks. Always have done, always will do. So today, to add to your backpack knowledge and mine, we're here today to look at the Osprey Arcane XL. Now there's actually a few sizes with this. I believe there's the Arcane, there's the Arcane Large and the Arcane XL. The XL is the large version of the three as the name kind of makes out. So what we'll do is we'll take a closer look at this pack now. So I'll leave the measurements on the screen here for you to see, but as previously mentioned, this is the larger 30 liter version in the Arcane range. There's actually a few other Arcanes. There's like an Arcane Top Loader, there's an Arcane Tote. So it's certainly a range that I think Osprey have found that's been lapped up quite a bit by people out there. Um, for me, it's got that classic 90s, kind of school bag look to it. It's got that kind of Jan Sport uh, East Pack kind of vibe. I think it does have a bit of a retro look and appeal to it. These are available in lots of different colours. Um, I think at the time of filming there's probably about three or four flat colours and then there is a few of these kind of mix-up colours. Personally I went for the green and blue mix on this because it just gave me that 80s vibe which is where really you know being out in the countryside with my dad and just out camping and walking and stuff. The blue and green really kind of it's, it's just a sweet spot for me, that kind of aesthetic from back then. Even little things like the, uh, the, the burnt orange little kind of amber hints that they've got on here. Uh, but this is made from a 500D recycled polyester pack cloth, which is really nice. Uh, 500D is great, it's nice and tough, you know that you're going to get a lot of wear out from this. With the polyester over the nylon, it's almost got a bit of a, a, a soft touch, felty kind of feel. I mean, it's not a felt kind of feel, but hopefully you can see that it, it's a little bit more matte, and especially rubbing my hands over it here, I don't know if you can tell the difference between nylon and polyester from just the sound of a man caressing a bag. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's, it, it, is, it is a really nice material, Osprey, are one of the world leaders in packs uh, and certainly outdoor backpacks like this. Um, so using their wealth of knowledge, especially because they're a little bit more concerned about the environment, then um, they've gone for a recycled um, polyester pack cloth with this. Uh, so the vast majority of this, all the way through the outside, there is a little bit of um, uh, this kind of four-way elastic stretch here on the back, but the vast majority of it is all made from that. On the inside, which we will have a look at, there is some lining material in here. It doesn't say it on the website, but I'd guess it's probably something like a 210, a 25D um, nylon kind of liner, which is generally the type of liner that you get with a lot of these kind of packs. So going around the pack, now normally I would say that both sides are identical but with this one they, 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 they're not. So on the, um, I suppose as we're looking at it here on the right hand side, there is a bottle holder. Now it's a bit of a stowaway kind of bottle holder. So rather than one that you put your bottles in from the top, instead you push your bottle in from the back and then it slides in here. So here's my little action cam and hopefully you'll be able to see. So it pushes in, if I do it properly, pushes in, are oh, you? Let's do it this way, it pushes in there like that. Now this one's just a little bit too long, so, oh actually I can't I can get it over the top. Now if you're thinking of one of those kind of, uh, uh, one of those litre Nalgene bottles, it's just not going to fit in there. If you go for your standard, how big is a pep, uh, like a, a Coca-Cola bottle, one of those plastic Coca-Cola bottles, I think they're about, is it 370, 400 millilitres? Um, that will fit in here perfectly. An Evian bottle or some posh water bottle, whatever, that will fit in here as well. But if you're outdoors wanting to do Nalgene in this, it's just not gonna fit. What I will say at this point is, actually, let, let's, let's take a step back. As far as an outdoors backpack is concerned, it's a great outdoors backpack. 
but this the arcane line is is probably more suited to a outdoors EDC style bag rather than a dedicated outdoors style bag which a lot of Osprey bags are there's no sternum strap there's no there's no waist strap with this um, but that's on this side on the other side there is nothing on this side because of the opening so with the opening with this into the main compartment it's a large ambi open but it opens with a j opening so this side will open pretty much all the way down there's a gusset little piece here to stop it from opening all the way um, whereas on this side it pulls down just to here which is where the bottle um, where that little bottle compartment is what you do have on this side however though is behind the zip here on the back panel I suppose you're kind of skipping because you usually do the back glass, but you do have a large entrance or opening into here. You can fit a laptop in here. It would be a reasonably small laptop. There is a laptop compartment in here that you can put a 16 inch laptop into, uh, but this one's great for your e-readers, for a tablet. You could probably fit one of the larger uh, iPads in here as well. It's pretty big. It goes all the way from the bottom, all the way to the cross, and it goes all the way across here. It's probably good 12 inches across by about 15, maybe 16 inches tall. It's also padded as well, so if you do put in there, it's protected against your back. Uh, but this again, fully lined, which is which is really nice. All of the zips on these, they're all YKK zips, all have these nice little Osprey kind of pulls on there. So if you're using these, you've got wet hands, you've got dirty hands, or even if you're wearing gloves in the winter, then you can get a good purchase on these to, uh, to, to open them. The zips are the YKK RC style zips, and they're also reverse stitched as well on here so that the coils are nice and protected too. Now, getting back to the front, we have a small compartment underneath here. So where this bit comes down here in between the blue and the green, this is actually just a little rain hood. Underneath here, there is uh, a small pocket. Now this pocket, out of all of them, this is uh, this has got like a, a, a felty fleece lining. It's not the thickest of fleeces. I've tried other backpacks that have these pockets in there, and it's quite a good plush fleece. Um, this is. It's a nice felt, it's like a fuzzy felt. If you had fuzzy felts, if you know what fuzzy felts are, one, you are freaking amazing, and two, you'll know what this material is. Um, but yes, so that goes all the way across and, and down through this panel. So this, this front blue panel is the exact size of that pocket. Then have your Osprey logo on the front. I think getting back to that kind of EDC rucksack kind of, retro, I feel old saying retro, but it's got that kind of 80s look and feel to it. You have this, I think it's, yeah, it's definitely not leather, uh, but yes, you have that on the front. Then you have another compartment. This is also ambi open. Uh, so if you have your zips at the top, you can pull these open like so, which I'm struggling today with zips. And this section, now at first you would assume that this is a section just for organization and that sort of thing but so I've got quite a bit in here I don't feel that this is maybe say you've got 28 liters at the back and this is just a small section if you're using this for I don't know you want to put some books in here or something like that this is probably a uh, a, a, a 60 40 split so in here I bought a little tarp out with me today it is raining but it's not that bad but importantly so here's my element tech pouch and this fits in here perfectly no issues whatsoever and there's still an extra little bit of room in here should I need it as well so if maybe you're in work, you want to throw in your gym kit, it's 30 liters at the end of the day, you get, you get a lot. 
I'm, I know I've said this in the past, but I'm the type that tends to pack a little bit more than I need. Um, so you can throw this all in here. All completely lined at the back, all completely lined through the sides. All of the stitching is immaculate on the hardware areas. You have uh, reinforcement on here too. Through this organization panel, you've got some little bits that maybe you can put a pen into. There is a key state on here. I mentioned this last time I looked at an Osprey pack. I just wish this was an extra little bit longer. If you wanted to take this off and open a locker with it, you really have to take your key off here. If this was maybe an inch or two longer, then you could open a locker, but it's, it's a tiny point. And then there is another large zip pocket in here as well that you can just kind of throw whatever it is that you need to in here. For this being that quite common organization panel, it's a lot bigger than your kind of common organization panel. Now the meat and two veg really are here in the back. This is where meat and two veg, where did I go with that? Maybe I was meant to be saying your bread and butter. I don't know why I said meat and two veg. That's gonna stay in. Um, you have a nice rain hood that goes over your main zip and here is your main section. Now you saw me forget again, I've had this bag now for maybe a month or so and I keep pulling this down, wanting it to go all the way down. It's not a bad thing. I think if you're used to packs that have this J style opening, then eventually you just get used to it. My memory's terrible. I find it difficult to get into new routines. Um, it's an observation. It's not a bad thing, it's just an observation. So on the inside here, now I will say, I feel as though that they're missing a trick here. So on the front panel, this being the front panel, it's the front of the bag. Um, so this is all completely lined, um, but they could have easily put an extra, maybe an extra uh, sleeve on here so that you could put a tablet into this, or they could just added um, another pocket on here, a mesh zip pocket, so you could put your laptop wires or whatever you wanted to put in here. Again, not complaining, it's, it's a tiny little thing, but I think it would have used some of the real estate on the front here just for a little bit of extra organization. Then on the back here, and I'm just gonna peel this back mainly, not so that you you can see any sort of hydration ports. As I said, although this has that outdoors look and feel to it that you expect from Ospro, it is more of an EDC style pack, so there's there's no there's there's no hydration ports. But here in the back, you have a laptop sleeve. I work when I commute into work. I have to take in my 16-inch laptop. Slides in perfectly, no issues whatsoever. And then you have the large part of the main section. I think I said 60, 40 before. It's probably 30, 70 as far as it's concerned. So if I pick these back up, spin this round, uh, this fits in there again. You know, there's even more room, even more so that I can put this in and it will then go in down beside it rather than having to sit on top of it. Uh, but yes, really nice. No additional extra little kind of sexy pockets in here. Maybe that could have been another thing. Maybe one of the side slip style pockets so that you could put an umbrella in there. Maybe you could put um, a water bottle on the inside to make sure that your water bottle's always standing up so that, let's face it, they always fall over and you always end up getting your bag wet. But that would have been nice. Again, I think, these would just be small quality of life things if they were to make the Arcane XL version 2. I think if they were to use that or you just add a little bit more internal organisation in the main pocket. Especially down this side as well. So with it having this J opening, you've got this bottle opener on a bottle pocket on the inside, on the outside. To have that on the inside so that your water bottle's always upright. Again, it, I think I feel as though I'm going over this a little bit too much. It's a great bag. Uh, then at the top, you have some tubular webbing, which is for your grab handle. I will say the grab handle on this compared to some others that I've tested recently, it's 
on the smaller side now I have a medium to large size hand I can get it in there you know I'm, I'm, I'm not struggling if it had gone maybe an inch either side further it would have been easy to grab the main reason that I talk about grab handles a little bit is I, I do get to travel a bit with work so getting things from overhead luggage compartments pulling them out with the boots of taxis that sort of thing especially if you're in a rush you just want something that you can grab hold of know that you've got it pull it out and just get on to what you need to do. So there's a loud crash in the bush over there for some strange reason. Uh, but yeah, so that's the, that's the grab handle at the top. Then to the rear, the back panel on this, if I bring this close enough, hopefully you can see. So it has this kind of uh, concertina down it. So that's the padding on the inside, whereas on the outside you have this four-way stretch. Uh, it's really nice when you're walking with this, uh, when I've got this and you go into the office, it's just nice across the back. I don't know what it would be like if I was in a hot country or if I'd done a day's worth of walking, which again is why I feel this is probably more of an EDC backpack that if you wanted to come out for a walk for the day, then you certainly could do. Um, now through the back or at least through the suspension system. So this uses a yoke style in fact, Let's take this off. Hopefully you can see that you can see it has a yoke style harness So if you're new to yoke style harnesses rather than having independent ones It's kind of weird. It's all in my face rather than having independent ones where your straps are sewn in separately You'll be able to see that this comes across as one whole piece um, when it's on, it just makes it a little bit, does make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, not that backpacks are particularly uncomfortable, but I think for a 32 litre pack, it wears really nice. It's quite light as well. I think for a 500D style material, that is really, really poorly placed. For, in fact, let's move this around ever so slightly. For a 500D style material it's actually very nice and light being able to put my laptop in here all of the paraphernalia that i have to take into the studio where i work um yeah it's nice that the bag doesn't weigh a kilo before i even have to start putting stuff into putting putting stuff into it um the uh, the the padding on the suspension system itself is a really nice plush padding it's actually quite thick as well it, it's it seems strange because it feels as though this padding should feel heavier on my shoulders, but it's not. It's it's quite a plush. I think as well by the feel of it, it feels almost kind of memory foamish. I don't know if it is or not, but there's definitely a bit of a kind of delayed spring when it comes back out again, which is nice. Uh, on this side, there is a kind of like a little pocket. So just, just trying to find something. Let's say. Um, so this is a this is a UK legal knife, um, but if you needed to, you could you could just keep something in there. It could be your keys. It's a little bit too small, maybe to keep your mobile phone. I think especially with mobile phones nowadays being massive bricks, yeah, you definitely can't fit that in there. But again, EDC commuter kind of thing. If you've got an Oyster card, you've got a transit card or something like that, it'd be perfect for that. If you're going into the office, if you're, you've got a, an apartment building that you go into, you've got a little fob or something that you need to get in. Again, it's just kind of perfect for that sort of stuff. Now, as I mentioned, there's no sternum strap on this. However, um, the, the, the four-way stretch material on the back here does a very good job of gripping on, on your shoulders. Um, it, fits, it fits really well. Certainly doesn't ride off, don't have any issues with that. There is something on the straps here, which I do quite like. I think more bags companies should do this. So on, on this side, it's what you, I'd consider a regular kind of strap. Um, it comes up through here, passes through there, and you can tighten and unfasten that. Whereas on the opposite side, now I, unfortunately, I have become fallen victim to this. I was out seeing clients in Paris, um, yeah, we went out for lunch. I got distracted. I can remember the man's face as clear as day. He distracted me and it was a fraction of a second. I turned back and my bag was gone because somebody else had, had 
I kind of took my bag. Whereas with this, so this is perfectly for those kind of situations. So on the bottom here, it's got a little carabiner so that you can take this off. So if you're out, maybe you're eating and you want to make sure that your bag is nice, nice and safe, a lot of people will have them on the back of their seat. I personally, if I have it on the floor, I'll always pass my leg through it or I will pass the chair leg through it. But what you can do is if you have this on your back of your chair, you can then pass this through your chair, hook it back onto here so that if somebody does try the old switcheroo, then they're going to grab your bag, they're going to try and run away or go away and you know it's going to be attached to the seat or whatever it is that you're sat on and they're not going to steal your sh stuff. Yeah, that was an awkward moment going back to work and having to tell my boss that my bag had been stolen with my laptop full of a lot of trade secrets, which wasn't good. So anyway, getting back to the Osprey Arcane XL. I think if you're after a bag, especially 30 litres, now the there is an Arcane L, as mentioned, there's an Arcane L, and there's just another a normal Arcane. I'll try and see if I can find the measurements for each of those here as well. I did go for the large one because I do, I just I just always tend to pack more than I need. But for me, 30 litres, well actually 28 to 32 litres is my sweet spot. It's just right for me. So having a 32, or sorry, having a 30 litre backpack that's got a bit of an EDC, it's got a bit of a Jansport early 80s, 90s kind of look and feel to it. I've seen, or this scene, this bag itself has been on my radar for, for a while now, nearly a year now, and I'm really glad that I picked it up. So, hope you've enjoyed today's piece of content. Of course, I'll leave some links below so that you can see more from Osprey. Uh, they may be affiliate links, so if you choose to use those, I did purchase this myself. Um, so if you do choose to use those, it helps to fund my channel so I can make content like this. So I'll leave some links below. I'll also leave some links to my um, Morlander EDC and Morlander Tactical social media links as well. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Morlander, and stay EDC. Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. You all know I love backpacks. I've got a few backpacks lined up. Today we are here to look at... I forgot what we're looking at. It's the Osprey Arcane XL. Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. The place to be for backpack content because I'm a massive backpack nerd, geek. I don't know what I was gonna say then, nerd. You idiot. as well. I've got you probably, you probably picked it up. I say so a lot at the beginning of a sentence. I say now a lot at the beginning of a sentence. I need to work on my comfort words. It's all about the comfort words. <sighs> oh, I fogged you up. <laughs> uh, I don't know when this is going out. Wednesday, I think. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Remember, if you're pistol fingering, pistol shooting finger, finger pistol, oh, you know what I mean. Just be careful. Have a good day.